हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड रिले एंड पुश बटन स्विच फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ए रिले रिले इज ए इलेक्ट्रोमैकेनिकल डिवाइस एंड इट इज इलेक्ट्रिकली ऑपरेटेड स्विच दैट ओपन एंड क्लोजेस द सर्क्यूट बाय रिसीविंग द सिग्नल सो रिले इज ए इलेक्ट्रोमैकेनिकल डिवाइस व्हिच इज इलेक्ट्रिकली ऑपरेटेड स्विच दैट ओपन्स एंड क्लोजेस द सर्क्यूट बाय रिसीविंग द सिग्नल सो व्हेनेवर इट रिसीव्स द सिग्नल इट कैन आइदर ओपन द सर्क्यूट और क्लोज द सर्क्यूट फॉर फ्लो ऑफ सिग्नल द रिले वर्क्स ऑन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक प्रिंसिपल सो द रिले विल वर्क ऑन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक प्रिंसिपल इफ वी से इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक प्रिंसिपल व्हिच मींस व्हेन वोल्टेज इज अप्लाइड टू द रिले कॉइल देन द करंट विल फ्लो थ्रू द कॉइल व्हिच इन टर्न जनरेट्स द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड will attract the armature core and it moves the contact point the movement of the contact point changes the power signal flow path this relay is available in three configurations first one is single pole single throw which is normally open the second one is single pole single throw which is normally closed here switch will be normally closed and single pole double throw as you can see in this figure figure a and b shows the single pole single throw configuration which has only single path for information flow the path is either open or the path will be either closed in normal condition for normally open single pole single throw relay the circuit is normally open and it become closed when the relay is energized for normally closed single pole single throw configuration the circuit is normally closed and it will become open when the relay is energized for single pole double throw relay there are two path as you can see here in this figure and these two paths are selected by energizing and de-energizing the relay this figure shows the interface of relay with microcontroller port through a relay driver circuit which is designed using a transistor and a diode so we can say the relay is normally controlled by relay driving circuit so we'll use relay driving circuit to control the relay here the relay driving circuit is connected to the port pin of microprocessor or controller here free wheeling diode is used for free wheeling the voltage produced in the opposite direction when the relay coil is deenergized so here free wheeling diode is essential for protecting the relay and the transistor most of the industrial relay are bulky which means they are huge in size that's why it is known as bulky and they require high voltage to operate special relays are called as reed relays and these are available for embedded application requiring switching of low voltage dc signal now let us understand push button push button is a input device which comes under two configurations first one is push to make and second one is push to break so first configuration is push to make and second configuration is push to break in push to make configuration switch is normally open and it will make a circuit contact when the switch is pushed 
or pressed. In push to brake configuration, the switch is normally closed and it will break the circuit when switch is pushed or pressed. In push to make configuration, the switch as you can see in this figure, we are having a switch. The switch is normally open and it will make the circuit when the switch is pushed or it is pressed. And push to break configuration, the switch is normally closed and it will break the circuit or it will open circuit when the switch is pushed or pressed. This push button will stay closed for push to make configuration as long as it is pushed or pressed and this push button will remain open for push to brake configuration as long as it is pushed or pressed. Push button is normally used for generating a momentary pulse in embedded system application, push button is generally used as reset, start switch or pulse generator. This push button is normally connected to port pin of processor or controller. As you can see in this figure, it is connected to port pin of processor or controller. Depending upon how this push button is connected to processor or controller, it can either generate low pulse or high pulse as shown in this figure. When the push button is connected to VCC, it will produce high pulse and when the push button is connected to ground, it will produce low pulse. Now let us understand piezo buzzer. Piezo buzzer is a piezoelectric device which can generate audio indications in embedded system application. So piezoelectric buzzer is piezoelectric device that can generate audio indications in embedded system application. It contains piezoelectric diaphragm which can produce audible sound. This audible sound is produced in response to voltage applied. So this piezoelectric diaphragm will produce audible sound in response to voltage that is applied. Piezoelectric buzzer are available in two types. First one is self driving and second one is external driving. In self driving, the circuit consists of all necessary components to generate sound at predefined tone that can be produced in the buzzer. So it can produce predefined tone when voltage is applied. So self-driving piezoelectric buzzer consists of all necessary component to produce the sound at predefined tone. So it will produce this sound at different tones when voltage is applied. External driving piezoelectric buzzer supports the generation of different tones and these tones can be varied by applying variable pulses to the buzzer. So external driving piezoelectric buzzer can generate different tones and these tones can be varied by applying variable pulses to the buzzer. These piezo buzzer can be directly interfaced with port pin of processor or controller. This piezoelectric buzzer can also be interfaced using transistor based driving circuit. This is about relays, push button switch and piezoelectric buzzer. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.